The Subri River Forest Reserve and Krokoswa Hills Forest Reserve are among the few remaining forest reserves in the country, but the environmental organizations are concerned about the potential loss due to government actions. Governments have started giving out administrative instructions to the Forestry Commission to start opening up protected forests, which we call the globally significant biodiversity areas, for logging activities. And these we think are illegal and needs to be done the right way. I mean, there, some of these forest reserves are set up for the purpose of providing us with um, ecosystem services like water supply, good air to breathe, and also biodiversity, which is very crucial for pollination and for food security issues. So before you take such action, you really need to ensure that you follow due process. They are seeking legal action to prevent the Lands and Natural Resources Minister from issuing mining licenses without proper parliamentary ratification. We find this as a breach of due process and legal stipulations, therefore prompting the issuance of this notice of intent to commence legal proceedings should the government fail to annul the aforementioned contracts. The key issues of legal redress that we are seeking include the, the issuance of the timber utilization contract without adherence to the competitive bidding processes mandated by, the, by Regulation 12 of LI2254. Secondly, the absence of parliamentary ratification as required by Section 5 and 9 of Act 547, rendering the contract legally void. Thirdly, a plea to restrain the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources and the Forestry Commission from engaging in similar transactions without proper parliamentary ratification. The suit is expected to be served to government by end of the month.